So this is a video about taking Sony camcorder videos and edit, editing them in Camtasia. So here's my video that I've downloaded from my camcorder. And if I go into the properties here, you see it's a movie clip that MPEG, and it's actually an MPEG two. And um, this isn't compatible with Camtasia Studio. So what we need to do is we need to convert the uh, MPEG file into a compatible file such as MP4. So any video converter is a free piece of software you can download. I just import my, uh, drag and drop my video that, that I want to convert into any video converter. I can do things like uh, consider the frame size. Now normally um, the frame size I produce would be at the same ratio, the same frame size I record and actually I'll produce at the same frame size as I measure later on. So I'm going to make this 640 by 480 and I press convert. I'm converting here to an MP4 that's a generally uh, quite compatible file type, low memory and I can import that into Camtasia. Okay so when the file is produced uh, it'll automatically open the folder um, where the the file is. So you see here there's an any video converter fo folder that'll appear in your My Documents. It's an MP4 type and I've got that file name. If I right click on this and show the properties uh, you see here now it's MP4 video. So I can import that into Camtasia. Just to mention about an any video converter you can convert, convert to lots of different file types. I tend to go with MP4 um, but there are lots of different file, file types. Okay, so we can now go to Camtasia Studio, really nice program, and uh, you can import media. I'll just show here, this is the Sony video file directly from the camera. It looks like it might be able to import it, but unfortunately when you try, uh, it says it can't. And uh, MPEG-2 files and Camtasia Studio just aren't compatible. So that's why we needed to convert. So I'll go to import media now and navigate to my converted file. So here it is. And import that. And then it's in the clip bin. So I can right click on it and add it to the timeline. So here now the editing dimensions. I'm going to keep this the same. Uh, keep these dimensions the same all the way through. And this helped the video quality. So I've got 640 by 480. Okay. So sometimes... Um, when I do a video, I want to do a voiceover rather than the raw sound from the video. So in Camtasia you can very easily remove this by clicking on the audio button, clicking on the sound line and just saying silence. And this will just remove all of the audio. It's still there, you can get it back if you want to. Um, so that's a really useful feature. The next thing is that when you use ABC, which is really brilliant software, unfortunately it just puts this um, dark screen right at the very start of the video. So you just need to highlight the very first fraction of the timeline and cut that out. So I've highlighted that and just use the cut button or press delete and that will cut that out. And you see there the uh, that's gone. The next thing I'd usually do then is to get rid of the black bars on the top and bottom. So you see here the video is widescreen but I'm I'm producing in 640 by 480 so you can just use the zoom pan tool to zoom in um, to the top and bottom of those black bars. You don't have to do this, but it just makes the, the final video look a little bit more professional. Okay, so that's zoom and pan, and um, if I play that now you can see that the zoom pan means that there's no black bars in the top and bottom. Then a great thing about Camtasia is it can edit out unwanted bits. So here obviously I've got a discussion going on as I videoed that I don't want to appear in the final production. So I'll stop the video where I want the um, uh, where I want the uh, production to restart and then just highlight the bit that I want to delete out. So here I've highlighted the section I want to delete and I can just uh, cut that. Sometimes you need to just go back over and check that it is indeed the section you wanted. It's probably useful um, to start the section where you want to delete and uh, highlight using the red uh, highlighter to the end and then cutting that. Finally then with production, 
here's a, an example of a produced video or video ready for production where I've done all the things I wanted to do, added in callouts and so on. I'm just going to produce and share. Now this particular video is recorded at 320 by 240 so that's why it's saying that there. But for the purpose of this illustration I'm going to pretend it's 640 by 480. So I can go into custom production settings. In next you see here it's going to produce an mp4 file. So I'm going to make this 640 by 480. My file format is mp4. Uh, you can put in controls, this gives people um, a bit more control over the video. They can pause and rewind and so on. Click next and uh, when you uh, put in your title you press finish and it produces. There's lots more details on the Camtasia website about those features. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's converting camcorder to Camtasia.